Well, Philly remembers bike riders killed on Philadelphia streets. They held their annual ride of silence last night, and as you can see here, dozens of them took part. Now they want action from the city. Eyewitness News reporter Trang Doe is live along Spring Garden Street, where a bike rider was killed just a few days ago. Good morning, Trang. Hey, good morning, Jim and Rahel here at the scene of the crash. You can see there's a sizable memorial and it just keeps growing by the day. This is all for Pablo Avandano. He was one of nearly a dozen cyclists who have been killed on our area roads in the past year. So many of you chose to ride with us tonight. Under a steady rain, about 200 cyclists gathered in front of the art museum Wednesday night to remember the 11 cyclists killed in crashes in the Delaware Valley over the past year. There's no reason that we should accept um, this level of people getting injured, people getting killed on our streets. For 14 years, the ride of silence has brought attention to the dangers bicyclists face on the road each day. This year's mood was especially somber with the recent death of bike courier Pablo Avendano. He was in the bike lane. He had his helmet on. The, the lights were on. He's doing everything right. But somehow police say an SUV traveling in the same direction as Avendano on Spring Garden Street near 10th struck him from behind Saturday night. This woman was one of dozens of Avendano's friends and loved ones who've contributed to a striking memorial at the accident site. He was an activist. He was a teacher. He was a great person. Now those who knew him and many who didn't ride in the hopes of affecting change to protect other cyclists. It's sad and it's, it's terrifying to think that I could die and no one's going to stand up for me. And these activists say bike lanes like this one are just not enough. They want to see more protected bike lanes across the city, which means these will be right up against the sidewalk. And where I'm standing would be parked cars buffering these cyclists from the traveling cars. But as of right now, Spring Garden Street is not on the list to receive one of those protected bike lanes. But for now, we're live from Callow Hill. I'm Trang Doe, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Rahel and Jim, back to you. All right, Trang, thank you.